Hi, my name is Kay Clapton. I'm the Mary P. Key resident of Cultural Diversity Inquiry here at the Ohio State University Libraries. And on behalf of the Billy Island Cartoon Library and Museum, I would like to talk about a piece that is an example of work by a man who is considered the godfather of manga, Osama Tezuka. So a little bit about Osama Tezuka is that he was born in 1928, but died in 1989 of stomach cancer. Um, but he was a prolific writer in the time that he had with us. He wrote over 700 volumes of manga, most of which have not been translated into English, and he was also a doctor. So let's talk about the piece. Um, the piece was originally purchased by Maureen Donovan, who in 2001 was our Japanese language librarian. It is a page for an unpublished manga that was set in the 1950s during the American occupation of Japan. It's an unpublished story, and what's interesting is that this is in the middle of the action. And so when we start with this, we always read from right to left in Japanese. We start with Tokichiro, our protagonist, who's being hassled by a possible classmate wearing a kendo or wooden sword on his back. Looks like he even hits him at one point, but a teacher intervenes and actually stops the fight. With the next thing we do is we transition into a scene where Tokichiro is with other Japanese men who are shining the shoes of American servicemen. Now, what gives you the indicators that these are American servicemen is that you have a Coca-Cola sign in the background in one scene, and you have an off-limits sign in another that's also in English. And so these are your hallmarks that let you know that these are American servicemen. But here's what's really interesting about this piece, at least for me, is that the sound effects not only give you the transition from one scene to the next, but they also give you the punchline. So going back to the airplane, what you have is this plane that's flying overhead and it's going as it goes past you. And it feels like it's actually really close. And so you get this sense of the plane is flying closely overhead with that sound effect. In the next scene, Tokichiro is talking to another man who's shining shoes. And the man is talking so much, he's not paying attention to how vigorously he's shining these shoes. And so what you see here is the sound effect of goshi, 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 as he's just vigorously shining the shoes. And he shines them so hard that all that's left is this man's foot. So if you are interested in learning more about this piece or any other piece that's actually in, in our manga collection or any piece that we have in, at Billy Ireland, uh, please visit our website at cartoons.osu.edu. Thank you very much and have a great day.